Well, that's better then, isn't it? Here I am. Got an appropriate jacket for up here on the top of a very windy hill. Um, this is a ghost piece. I've been keeping my eye on these ghost pieces. They've, they've released some really interesting ones this season. They've got that big cape thing, got some nice overshirts, turtleneck ribbed sweatshirt or jumpers. And um, I'd say, you know, that's good. They're, it's a good range. And the colors are interesting. They've got like the browns, the grays, the blacks, the greens. Um, I believe this is black. It is completely black, it's very almost borderline onto Stone Island Shadow Projects, I would say. Um, with the badge very blacked out there. Um, this is made of a material that I've not heard Stone Island use before, which interested me as well. So I'm going to have to read a little bit about it because uh, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. So um, it talks about this being, um, this is stretch wool nylon TC down. So obviously downfield, premium down. And it's made with a stretch worsted wool and nylon twill. I tell you what, it is very interesting material. It feels great. It feels really smooth. Um, I think, I mean, you can judge for yourselves whether you, you like the look of it or not. I think it looks great. And of course, you know, this is padded with the finest feathers and it's got an anti-drop on it. Which may, you know, I think it's a shame because these are winter pieces that I would think that, you know, this would have some sort of weather resistance to it. You know, if you get caught out on these uh, wintry days that we've got right now here in England. Um, anyway, it's a classic black bomber. It's got these button fastened bits here. We'll have a little look at those details in a second. It's got what I would say is quite an annoying button up here. It's quite difficult to find the button. And it's just got a one way zip, which actually I think is disappointing because this jacket I think comes alive, it comes into its own when it's it's open like that. I actually think that's the fit. This weirdly is a medium. I mean, on the sleeves I'd say that's perfect. And I'm normally a large in Stone Island. This is a large underneath here. So that's a bit unusual. Maybe it's supposed to be more oversized. I, I might pick up the large in the gray, have a little look at that. That's the one I've really been looking at, but you know, the cost of these bad boys, it's prohibitive, isn't it? I mean, it's just, I just don't know if it's, it's enough jacket to warrant that cost. Maybe in the winter sales, 30% comes off. Maybe you get 40% somewhere then you're into it. I reckon pick one up straight away. Um, inside, your single pocket. Also ghosted out on the inside here and your pocket. And I know I mentioned the other day these pockets are getting bigger. I guess it's to fit in your, your iPhone 11s or your big Samsung phones. Again, no, why would you put a phone in there? So difficult to get out, ridiculous. And then this nice down on the inside here, such a smooth material. Um, this is nice, it's got the details, it's all blacked out. Same with the pocket there, all blacked out. Uh, I'll do a little turn for you, so you can have a look at what it's like on the back. But it's, it's, a, it's a black jacket, isn't it? It's a black bomber jacket. I mean, it would be interesting to pick one up from uh, ASOS or somewhere like that, and see what the difference is. But I mean, to be honest with you, you know what the difference is. If you're a Stone Island fan and you've got a Stone Island jacket, then you know the difference because when you put on a piece of premium kit such as this, and you've got this, this button up here, but I mean, there is a button here somewhere. I mean, I would say I'm quite dexterous, but this is actually, I think you have, to, I don't know. It is, there, there it is. I mean, I've got, grade three in piano so I'd feel like I'm pretty good with my fingers you know get playing those chords and uh, yeah just found getting that button it's a bit tricky a bit annoying I, I want to do this every time I want to button up do I it's ridiculous oh, 
and it folds over and I have to uncrease it. Don't know, maybe there's a knack to it. Anyway, it's got that nice grip around your neck though, that's keeping me nice and warm. And it feels absolutely delicious. But that button, that no, you saw me there, just thought I'd got it, struggled. I feel like I'm gonna pop my collarbone out while I'm trying to button it up. Still haven't buttoned it up. Jeez, I'll leave it unbuttoned. So as we discussed, these are button fastened poppers. Get your hand in there. That is lovely and soft. I'll be honest with you. And they're decent size. I'm still not sure about having the pocket with the flap that way. Why not that way? I don't know. But still, very nice. It does mean that when they're done up, it's a beautiful, clean, clean lines. So that's it, that's, I mean, probably should have more to say about such an expensive jacket, but I, I don't. Um, there's not much more to say about it. It, it does have these um, ribbed uh, cuffs. It's got this double rip on here. So you've got a nice little close up here. I love that, I love that they do this, this sort of double thickness on the cuff. It is, you do see it a lot in there higher end jackets and some of the older stuff some of the CP stuff as well um, it's very nice just gives you that extra strength to keep it cuffed around your wrist very good I do like it when they do that with their jackets I've got that on the um, pink micro um, no crinkle reps uh, bo uh, bomber jacket another bomber jacket perhaps we should have a little look at that one that's pink um, but anyway so this one ghost piece i'm going to read this off again so i don't get it wrong wool nylon tc very nice what do you guys think worth the money <laughs>